Hey everybody, thanks for checking out Uncensored Tactical. Again, this is going to be our second video on the Master 175 lock and a couple other goodies as we go. So here is the technique right up front so we can get moving. In essence, what we're going to do for this bypass technique is we're going to, this big face plate here, when you lift this up, it releases the mechanism that holds these two latch points in. So if I depress the shackle or press the shackle, whatever you want to call it, if I lift this plate up and then release the shackle again, it pops open. So let's show you that technique on a dry lock or not a, not a training lock. So you can see here it's a master and then on the inside it says 175. I go to the third keyway with a small straight shim. I insert and I only need to go about maybe a half inch at most. I go to the top left of the third keyway. It doesn't matter what number this is on. I hold the shackle down. I manipulate my tool. I lift the shackle up. Down, manipulate, lift. And it's open. Oh. Alright, so here's some cool details. Um, the tools that will work for this. These are two different tools from ITS Tactical. This thin one is your easy decoder. Um, I haven't used it yet to decode, but I'm gonna try that in the next video here. Um, this is an easy decoder. You can see how easy it slides in. It's used to either decode the numbers to figure out the combination or to just do a bypass. So it's really thin, which is nice because it enters easily, but it's really flimsy. You can see how it starts to bend and curve and tear. So. I do have one on my everyday carry for my keychain, but I don't expect it to work every time. It's really beat up. So I keep a hair snap clip like this clipped into my wallet. Um, we are going to show you how to make one real quick. This is another one that works. Uh, you got to be aware of your sizes though. These are two different thicknesses. Try and marry these up together. You can see there's a little overlap on the silver where it's a little too wide. Um, you can try and get it in there, but it doesn't always work. So let's make that tool real quick. Sometimes if there's too sharp of a bend, I'll try and press that flat before I put it in the lock. And I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to damage anything. So let's see if I can get in there. You can see it's not super easy to get in, but it's not as fast as the easy, easy decoder, and it's not as it's not as easy to slide in as the smaller snap clip, the little brown one I just showed you. Um, I think with time I can I can get that, and I've done it before, but you can see the different levels of difficulty here, uh, which is a nice thing I like about what I offer. On YouTube which is some field application I have seen this done I'll try and find the video and embed it on my article on my website I have seen this done with a paperclip I have tried a few times I don't I can't recall if I've gotten it to work or not but I've seen it being done it fits above the keyway but you have to bend it and you have to be real sensitive and these will lose their their strength as you bend them more so you got to be on point with that you got to you have to uh, practice a bit this is a uh, bobby pin and every bobby pin that I've tried has been way too thick to get into that dial um quick note before we get off before I go too far these are two different tools from ITS Tactical be careful when you're buying if you want these easy decoders they're real thin and they're real flimsy but they do slide in really quickly this is a quick stick it's for a different technique and it will not fit into this lock so be real careful which one you're buying uh, and this is the <clears throat> this is the Gulag Shim from Oscar Delta. I've done a review of some of their gear before. This works freaking great. And this is a great tool to keep on a keychain. I keep one of these on my everyday carry, along with their advanced handcuff key, which is pretty sweet. Um, so those are some things that will and won't work. And you saw us make a snap clip key or bypass tool. This is the, now some different locks. This is the 178. 
tolerance here on these wheels is a little more tight, but the technique will work. Let's use something that's really effective first. Third dial face up, go in the top left, insert, and you're in. All right, where's it at? Snap clip or hair beret, whatever you call it. A little more tight, but we're in. This I'm not even going to try because I know the tolerance is more tight. Uh, what else do we got? That's pretty good for now. This is a this is an old damaged 175 I used it in a previous video. You can see how the wheels kind of free spin. It's a little jacked up and beaten up. This technique will still work. I can just feel the internals are really loose on this. Still works. Uh, but it's this one's starting to get beat up, so we're going to chop this up in this video and the next one. Uh, this is a brand new, out of the box, I bought yesterday, Master 175. These wheels are very tight. And I can't get, I haven't gotten any tool into here so I don't know if they've fixed the bypass or if they changed the wheels around or I don't know what's going on inside there I think I'm gonna drill this open and get a look but I've got nothing inside of this so there's a possibility that master lock has decided to take some action against this bypass this technique will not work for either of these you can see how the, the floor plates for these dials are a lot different uh, this technique won't work but there are some decoding options for that this Brinks lock looks really similar to the 175 but this technique will not work on this one either so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to cut this video and the next video that i do i'm going to show you guys some bolt cutters and we are going to crimp open this broken lock and then maybe i'll revisit this video and i'll do a patch and we'll do some picture in picture and we'll do a little race and see which one's faster um, thanks so much for checking us out. Remember to do your target assessments, if, even if it's just in your head, of what type of entry options you have, what tools you have, what tools you can make, what tools you can buy, uh, updates on different locks because this technique won't work on every lock. So thanks for checking us out. Go ahead and subscribe to get the updates on the future videos and check out our website. We've got a lot of other cool stuff there too. See you next time.